The sun is the donor, the giver of all life for the planet, for us, for trees, for plants. So I admire this, that we have to be grateful that we have the sun and we live all together. So that's why I am fascinated by the sun as a donor of all life on this planet. We can use now the power, the energy of the sun, making all of us also comfortable, just using the solar energy, as we call it, and bringing the solar energy to all people in a very useful form that we use today, and that's electricity. That is uh, what I am doing, and that's why I'm also so fascinated by the sun, that at the end we can use the enormous energy of the sun also of the benefit to all people. My name is Miro Zeman. I work at Delft University of Technology as professor for photovoltaic materials and devices. At this moment, I am head of uh, Electrical Sustainable Energy Department in the Faculty of Electrical Engineering, Mathematics and Computer Science. And my expertise and speciality is the so-called photovoltaic technology. So it is a technology that delivers electricity directly from solar energy. I was born in Slovakia and I came about 30 years ago to the Netherlands to work at the university. I started working my research and scientific career on studying a new type of material, amorphous silicon. And already at that time, this material was considered as a potential material to make solar cells. I realized that after many, many years of doing research on solar energy and developing devices where this conversion of solar energy into electricity takes place, we call them solar cells, that it's not only an exotic hobby, but it can change the world. The process that we use to uh, convert energy of the sun into electricity is, is clean. In a solar cell, when this process takes place, you have no emissions, it doesn't make any noise. And what is remarkable, that this is just one step conversion of energy from one form to another. When you use fossil fuels, you go through three steps. First, you burn fossil fuels, you make thermal energy, then the thermal energy is converted into mechanical energy, something is turning, and then in the generators, this mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy. With the photovoltaic technology, in one step, we have electricity. It's wonderful. It can really deliver electricity to all people all over the world. And uh, then there was this moment we can call it a moment of enlightenment, that I have really realized that I have my mission in my life. And that mission is to work on something that is of benefit to all people. So we are in a special place at the Delft University of Technology campus. We call this place the Green Village. Here in the Green Village, we can test the new technological developments and new components, how they function in real life. Here we are in a house that the students of our university has, have built for a competition where university groups from universities all over Europe come with a special house that are uh, evaluated on the sustainability of such a house. So our university came to the competition with this uh, beautiful house, which actually demonstrates how you can renovate houses from 60s and 70s to, let's say, make them more sustainable you can see that windows are actually solar modules, so the solar cells are integrated in glass. It's not only functional, which we like, of course, 
but it has also its aesthetical value. And this is actually what I would like to achieve with the PV technology, that it's not only practical, that delivers green electricity, but the solar modules are integrated in houses or in buildings in such a way that it's also aesthetical. People like to go to green electricity, like to use uh, renewable energy sources like solar energy or wind energy. But when we have to build a huge wind uh, turbine in the backyard of their houses or huge solar plants in the backyard of their houses, they do not like it. They prefer that it is nicely integrated and it does not change the landscape of uh, where they live. We are already working on it, so it has been a dream maybe a couple of years ago, but now we are making this dream reality. We are at the Rotterdam Center Station, and what you see here are what we call multifunctional components. It's really like a roof, so people who are waiting for trains when it rains are still dry, and at the same time, the same component delivers green electricity. We are in the Electrical Sustainable Power Lab. So in this lab, we are going to develop technologies and components that we need to carry out the energy transition. We need new components, new technologies to build a power system of the future, like photovoltaic technology, like wind turbines for utilizing wind energy, and then all the other components that are needed to couple the electricity from the renewable energy sources into the existing network. Now we are here alone, but when it's operational, I expect that this will be full of researchers, our PhD students, master students, or really scientific staff, but also people outside the university, our colleagues from other research organizations or companies, because the challenges that we have to shape up the new energy system are such that we cannot do it alone. We really need to cooperate and, and do this together. The most important thing probably is that we get a good control of the system so that the security of supply, in this case electricity, is maintained. That we are sure that the lights will be on all the time. So the security of the supply is very important and to control the whole complex system, we need what we call to digitalize the system, to put sensors that we monitor the flow of electricity and that we then optimally control the flow, the use, of the electricity in this new future power system. And this laboratory is unique that it enables to do this. So not only to develop the individual technologies, individual components for the future system, but more importantly, in this laboratory, we can test how to integrate all these new things in the system. light has entered this laboratory and for me when light comes out it always means that something new will happen a new day starts so this is also a symbol that we are going to make something big in this laboratory the light has entered the laboratory it will be soon operational and we will do really fantastic things to fulfill the dream of me and all my colleagues to build a power system of the future that will deliver green electricity to everybody in the world.